Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another sewing video for you. Surprise, surprise, I've been doing a lot of sewing videos recently. But yeah, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Tilly and the Buttons Lotta dress pattern. And you guys will know if you watch my vlogs uh, frequently that I love Tilly's patterns. They're so straightforward, easy to use. They've got colour photos in their instruction booklets. And everything's just really user-friendly, accessible. And I just, yeah, I love them. Um, I, lo I know what sizing I am and the fit and I know what um, to expect from her patterns basically so I'm really excited about this it looks super easy to make and also it just looks like such a lovely dress style one that can just be worn all the time and even better it can be made in woven and jersey fabric so if you prefer jersey makes or using stretch fabrics in your makes then you can use this pattern as well which is really cool so yeah you can see at the bottom it is for beginners um, or confident beginners if you if you like a confident sewer you, this is going to be a breeze but if you are a beginner as well then this is also great so yeah before I get on to any other information about like the fabrics I'm using and that kind of stuff then if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe because it really helps me out helps my channel to grow and give this video a little thumbs up let me know in the comments if you're going to make it or if you've already made this um, I'd love to hear your feedback and like we can have a little chat in the comments section. I have new videos every Sunday, um, so make sure to check them out. And I do have some more like crafting videos coming up soon as well, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, moving straight on into the pattern. So obviously the Lotta dress, um, you can see it here. It's a lovely little swishy dress. Um, no fiddly bits, it's got an elasticated waistband, so perfect for pulling over your head and just easy, ready to go. I am going to be making the... Uh, midi length dress in a woven fabric with the sleeves with the what are they called um, the bracelet sleeve and it is called a bracelet sleeve I believe because it cuts not sort of low down on your wrist or whatever but sort of about here so moving on to fabrics oh god I've got a, a juicy fabric to show you in this video guys I'm really excited <laughs> um, I'm also being really weird and a bit like awkward today so I apologies so I apologize um, about that in advance but anyway moving on this is the fabric that I'm going to be using it's a beautiful beautiful fabric design from Ruby Star Society so the actual illustration design is by Melody Miller um, you should go check out her Instagram because it's just so beautiful she does these really gorgeous kind of very bright vibrant prints and this is a cotton sateen fabric the softest most almost luxurious feeling fabric I've ever ever had the pleasure of working with um, it just feels absolutely gorgeous and I've obviously given it a pre-wash before um, if you are a beginner make sure you always pre-wash your fabrics I just always put my fabrics on a 30 wash unless it's like I don't know something that you're not supposed to wash at all or whatever just 30 um, give them a pre-wash but also helps with shrinkage and what shrinkage is if you don't sew already shrinkage is just um, potential like shrinking in the fabric when you wash it so you want to make sure you pre-wash so that when you cut out your pieces um, and then you sew your dress or your item together it's not going to shrink in the wash that's what I'm going to be making the Lotta dress in um, it's already cut and ready to go so it's just a case of sort of getting straight on into it really me I need to start off for this particular make sewing on um, ironing on my facing, my interfacing and doing the neck band. Anyway, before I get into sewing, I just wanted to have a little chat because um, I've had lots of messages from you guys and I just wanted to firstly say a massive thank you to anyone who tunes into my weekly videos because my watch count has gone up and it kind of blows my mind that people watch anyway. <laughs> so this is where I get a bit awkward, sorry. Um, so yeah, just thank you so much for tuning in. Whether you message or comment below, is that's amazing. Love the community so much. People that have come over to Instagram to say hi to me as well. Like, hi, those people that have messaged me in the past few weeks to say that they've come over from my videos, like, means so much to me. And even if you don't, you just watch it and you don't even give it a thumbs up. Like, it's still insane to me. Like, it's really cool. So thank you. What is going on with my fringe? Um, so we're going to get straight on into it. First thing I need to do is sew on my... It's not so on iron on my interfacing and I need to cut it out first. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. Get this right. 
So what I like to do um, before I start my sewing process is I lay all my pieces out um, in front of me or wherever I am. Obviously I work in a, a, a craft room but you'd think with a whole craft room this big you'd have lots of space. I do not. Um, but whatever you have, a table, a floor, whatever, I lay my pieces out ready. I know exactly what I've got. Um, they're not on my table, you know, taking up space. Um, and yeah, another little tip, I have a Cricut machine, um, you might see my Cricut videos, and a really great little tip to do interfacing, instead of going down, for me I have to go downstairs, use my iron, whatever, um, I just use my little uh, heat proof mat on my table, and I've got an easy press, again, you can use an iron obviously, but this is just a tip if you have um, a craft machine and a, um, a Cricut easy press, you can use this to do your interfacing, so... Um, it just makes the process so much easier, faster, don't have to go downstairs, set the ironing board up, so yeah, it's a good little win if you just want like a 10 minute task in the afternoon without having to um, cause any more fuss to yourself. Just setting up my sewing machine and I've put an 80 needle in because um, the fabric's quite like, like light, lightweight. It's because it's got that silky quality, I don't want to like put big holes in it. So I've gone for an 80 needle and hopefully that would be okay. For this kind of fabric, um, I'm just gonna sort my bobbin. Um, I've learned a couple of things from my most recent mistakes, which I thought I would talk about. One of them is always read the instructions before you start any of the sewing process. Um, it just helps to know what you're doing. And the mistake was in my last video, if you watched it, I sewed the peppermint skirt with my friend Sam and I just basically was just asking her the entire FaceTime call like what steps next, what steps next and I didn't once look at the instructions or even read through the full instructions so I just kind of winged it um, and I let my arrogance kind of take over and I messed it up and the pockets are too low so um, always read the instructions first I've just read my way through the book so I kind of know in my head already like the steps um, especially as a beginner you might need to do that and then read through as you're doing it but now that I've done it once I kind of know what's coming and some of it I can just go forward and do but actually then I might just take to the book or like if I've forgotten things or whatever so it's really good to like give yourself um, the kind of knowledge of how this make comes together before you start it. First step is to stay stitch the neckline um, on both the front and back bodice and then also the diagonal of the, uh, the skirt. So I'm going to do that now, just do it on a 10 millimeters on a standard stitch. And by the looks of it, the 80 needle is good for this fabric. Okay, so I've marked on my skirt where the pockets are going to be um, and now I'm going to sew down the diagonal, just stay stitching them and this is to help it so they don't stretch out or move out of place or whatever. So I'm going to do that now. Calling me a liar Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can now I can sew my shoulders together from my front seam to my back seam and again this is just really simple matching notches um, right side to right side I'm gonna sew my shoulder seams together and actually what I'm gonna do before I sew the skirt on and all of that stuff I'm gonna fit the body to make sure that it sits on my waist because sometimes tilly patterns are a little bit like long for me um, and then I can just adjust it if I need to um, by cutting off on the bodice. So now I got these holes Now I got these holes in my hand. So hot in 
spoon today. Um, I'm just about to sew the interfacing neckline onto this. Um, if it's woven fabrics, you have to do uh, interfacing. And yeah, I'm gonna go on and sew this on. And then I think um, after that, I have to yeah, clip seam allowances, under stitch it, so yeah. Cool, right, let's do that. I think what I'll do is I'll sew this together, the neckband and the um, bracelet sleeve. Um, I'll do that and then I will show you what the fit of the top part looks like. So here we go, it is the first fit. But yeah, the fit is really nice. Fits over my head super nicely as well. Um, kind of, well, there's my waist here, um, so we've got enough seam allowance without making any adjustments because by the time I've sewn that up and everything, it should sit in the perfect spot. Um, the sleeves are a little bit long. The bracelet sleeve, it should be like here instead of there, but that's fine, easy to do, easy to take up. But yeah, I just thought I'd come in a little bit closer so you can see. Because it's floral, you don't really even see where the seams are and stuff. Um, it sits nicely on the shoulders. So all in all, no fit needed. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how it looks and stuff. But um, it is a super hot day, so I'm going to get it off now before <laughs> I like sweating it too much. But um, yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love it. It looks quite cute at the top, actually, as well. Hey guys, believe it or not, it's the same day. I've just changed my outfit because it's so hot in this room just had my lunch break and I just sewed this skirt onto the top so this is where I've got to um, oh it's wrong side this way it's really a uh, beautiful sort of print I just think it's so cool the sleeves are in the skirts on so now what I've done is I've pressed um, the skirt and underneath I'll show you the inner workings underneath it We've got an extra big sort of seam here, um, so now we need to stitch that down onto the skirt and that creates the channel for our elastic. So yeah, um, I just need to stitch that down and put the elastic in, which is going to look really good because it's basically what's going to tie this all together and make it look like a fully finished dress. And then I can uh, finish the hem and it's done. It's honestly that easy, it's so nice, but this fabric's just awesome, I really really love it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the channels. I was going to put pockets on this dress and then when I was actually holding it up as like, you know, a fully fledged dress, um, I just realised like it would just be so fussy if I just added pockets on it and the print is so loud that the pockets would just get lost in the print anyway and then when looking at it from afar, it would just look like the print was off. Do you know what I mean? Like I couldn't match up the print perfectly. Um, if it was a ditzy floor or something like that, it'd look really cute, but as such a bold print, I'd have to like either match it perfectly or it would just look weird. So I've decided to just go without the pocket on this one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do those bits that I mentioned and then I'm pretty much just gonna show you the finished result. So, can't wait, ready? Ta-da! So there we go, you guys, it's finished. I absolutely love how it turned out, it's so lovely. It's super swishy and comfortable. I'll insert a picture of the full um, dress over here because I can't fit it in landscape in my room, but you can see the full thing there. Um, but isn't it just so lovely? I absolutely love how swishy the skirt is and it's just super easy to make. It came together in a day, literally finishes the same day I started it. Um, got an elasticated waist, it's super comfortable. I just absolutely love it. It's really, really cute and I can't wait to make it in loads of different fabrics and styles. The long sleeves are perfect for autumn winter because I can just lay it up with a nice cardigan and some tights and it's going to look lovely. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments if you're going to be making this style of dress as well for yourself. I'll leave the link so you can go and purchase the pattern in my description box below from Tilly's website. Let me know what you think guys, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, love you lots, bye!